What is up everyone, internet marketers, business owners, whoever is listening, I'm thrilled to have you on board. Today I wanna to show you a few ClickFunnels tricks and tips that I've been doing. Um, just talk through some things that I haven't done in a while, some things I am doing, um, show you how everything's working and maybe you can apply some of these same things using ClickFunnels in your own business. So let's go add a new funnel, let's play around with something. Uh, what do you guys feel like doing today? Let's get a, let's get a launch funnel up. I don't think I've played. Test. Let's play around with the launch funnel. Awesome. So these are all your different launch funnel pages that you've got available. There's a lot to go through here. ClickFunnels provides you with a wealth of launch funnels. So let's just choose one to play around with. So here you can choose the different ones. They've got all the default ones set out for you, which one that looks really nice. Let's choose, where should we start? All right, let's start here. A couple of things I wanna go through today are surveys. Now I'm using surveys currently with my own funnels and they're performing ridiculously well. Um, I'll, I'll show you how to set one up, I'll show you how they work uh, and then you'll be able to do it yourself. So this is like a pretty nice, pretty nice template in itself uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to add a survey to it. So let's, I'm just going to put the microphone down here. Let's start a survey. So how to be the best marketer online in 10 days for $1 a week. Whatever your headline wants to be. So then what I do is I'll move this. Now, one thing I don't know if you can do, and this will be a good question, is to drag things into the pop-up. So for example, if the support's listening, they should be able to drag this into the pop-up. That's something for another day anyway. So let's remove this. Cool. So let's add a section, one column block, add a new element. Now, if I go survey, there you go. Beautiful, so question color, we wanna make it white. Enter color, let's make that white. Progress bar color, I feel like making that blue. Maybe a, there we go. Um, you can't do a lot with the progress bar at this stage. Um, so what they'll probably do is, I hope they add a section where you can put in a custom bar. Usually it works really well. Um, but yeah, so this is pretty much how you do it. So you add your questions here. Uh, your multi-choice question, so if I open that. Um, are you a marketer now? So you can go yes, no. Cool, and we're not gonna have, you can add a button as well, go to next step. What I usually do is I hide that and automatically they go to the next step. Uh, or you can add another answer as well if you want to. Yes. Um, and you can go from there. So let's get rid of that. We don't need that. Add new answer. Ah, wrong button. Add new survey step. So here we go. This will ask us question two. Are you really, can't type today, a marketer? No. Yes. Now I'm not sure why that one's coming up as black. Uh, answer text color should be white, there you go. Sometimes there's a few bugs here and there, but it gives you an idea of how it's working. So say we've got two steps in our funnel. Now, after that, we want the action to open pop-up. I usually use open pop-up on that one, and then I've got my opt-in in my pop-up. So if we go over here, we wanna build an opt-in, really simple, add a headline. Download your marketer's guide below. Cool. Add this in. Um, you can have a picture. We'll just make it super easy. It's an import form. Uh, if you want to have your name as well, you can change that. So input type, uh, first name. This one is your email. Uh, and you can play around with these. I've I think it's pretty straightforward how these work. You can either get professional, 
big border you can really make sure if you want it required or not um, if you want an icon so for the name icon they're usually helpful um, and you can have the text align wherever you want all that stuff's pretty self-explanatory um, that's pretty basic stuff and then after that you add your button download now so I don't even need to change that um, and that one should be on submit form so change that to submit form um, you can make that larger uh, you can make that fill width you can do whatever you want with it and let's bold this so headline should look like one um, what I'll do as well just to make them look better is we'll change this uh, to email icon uh, change that to email enter your email here enter your name here and then instantly you can set that up with your integration um, go through and integrate which with whatever you like um, you should already know how to do that um, also another thing is to use your digital assets and download which will appear in there um, so just open that and then on the download once they get added to your list you can send them an asset or a download too uh, and that's pretty much it so let's see if this is going to work if I save this first thing you need to do before you preview is save then you can preview it so let's have a look are you a marketer now Whew, tough question uh, I think that may have been one of the ones we added before no are you really a marketer yes beautiful download your marketers guide below yes name at name and then that'll go through and it might actually work there's no thank you page but it did get tracked because uh, ClickFunnels actually have their own uh, funnel lead management funnel lead lead management system built into ClickFunnels so let's have a look at where it got tracked bang total leads one there we go so they tracked it all um, exact time and date I'll remove that so you don't, I don't need that uh, you can export it as well oh one thing actually what I will do is show you how to get the results um, it actually takes a little bit of work because they're not really easy to grab um, so if you go yes no blah 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 download now uh, if I go into leads again it should have that new one cool you gotta go export this is a bit tricky because they haven't made it real easy uh, the support told me they're gonna be working on it but until they do if you have a virtual assistant, I recommend you get them to do it because it's a bit, bit messy. Uh, it'll email you your actual uh, CSV file, so it's probably emailed it to me already. But it should also come up here with the download button. And then what that does is it actually includes a question and the answer um, with their email name, the whole lot. But it's just really messy format. So you want to go through that um, and make sure you extract the name, email, and the answers as well because it's great data. Uh, and you can just choose if you get one question which happens to be the same for most you might find a better way of asking it it might inspire you to ask more questions around that subject you can reorder your questions as well that works too so if one gets answered a lot more than others then you know that one can be towards the front of the questions all right this is taking far too long for me to worry about so i'm just going to pause this and then come back to you when i've opened it up and we're back so now i'll open it up i just it sent it to my email so i'll just open it up now be able to see exactly what it looks like um, as that's loading boom it opened on my other screen fantastic so let's bring that back here um, there you go so you've got your page ID name first name now the info I'm pretty sure is all in additional info here so the way it stores it is are you a marketer um, yes are you really a marketer no so there's your answer um, it's really as you can see a bit messy uh, especially when you have hundreds of these. Um, I ran a survey funnel with Facebook ad traffic, performed extremely well, took a bit of tweaking to get it performing well, but once it did, all that, it's, I think I've got a couple of hundred leads or whatever it was that came through using that quiz, phenomenal, um, really good, and it actually makes it a lot more valuable to you because you know these guys are happy to engage, uh, they're taking micro steps, so it's really good in building a funnel if you're selling products, if you're using it for a lead magnet, the survey itself can be a lead magnet you can play it really however you like um, but yeah that's pretty much how to use a funnel in in click funnels this one's still processing so support might need to have a look at that otherwise uh, i'll speak to you guys soon